Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to yet again, another bad business video. In today's bad business video, we have here the best setup for the SIG or the Sigil, whatever you really want to call the sniper. I'm going to be calling it the SIG from now on. I mean, this sniper is so clean and it's so reminiscent and i mean this it's so reminiscent of the ballista from black ops 2 it's just it feels that way or actually i wouldn't say the ballista but i would say the locust it reminds me of the locust and that is why this is my favorite sniper in the game okay i'm saying it right now yes i'm sorry my baby my precious little guy right here all right the 1873 you have done me well but you are not this sniper i'm sorry i've always said if they added a ballista like sniper in the game it would be my favorite or a locust like sniper you know whatever you want to call them it would be my favorite and this is definitely that sort of vibe but before we get into the whole thing with this sniper and getting into the game and stuff like that i quickly do want to say ladies and gentlemen i have uploaded another video on another channel if you guys want to go check that out it's another fortnite video on the other channel highly suggest it did really well uh on my last fortnite video so i was just checking that one out if you're curious about it but yeah other than that let's get straight into it i'll leave the link in the description down below as well as at the end of the video there'll be the video there and i'll put a card on screen towards the beginning of the video so yeah you'll have any opportunity you want possible to go and watch this now let's go ahead and talk about the attachments and what i'm using and why i'm running these attachments here first attachment you're going to be using is tactical laser reason why is because when you get in those close range engagements it's really going to help you to hit that hip fire but you could just no scope someone that's really close to you i highly suggest you know running a laser it would definitely be very very helpful and that's why i personally use it because i go for no scopes quite a lot so that's why i use this thing with tactical laser i also use heavy barrel on this thing all right and i also want to mention tactical laser is not only going to give you more hip fire accuracy but it's going to up your ads speed and that's exactly what you want everyone that's exactly what you want next attachment we're going to be using is the heavy barrel it's going to uh get rid of some recoil and up your recenter speed which is exactly what we need on this gun because guys we already talked about this the recenter speed on this thing is absolutely atrocious especially comboed with the scope this scope is probably the weirdest scope to use in the game and you know it just doesn't feel natural so that's why i am using the heavy barrel to help with the recenter speed now this is going to come with some cons like minus mobility and minus ADS speed, but don't worry, it's going to get canceled out because of the tactical laser with the plus ADS speed. So I'm not building this thing for mobility and stuff like that. Never really do with my snipers. I make these things as hard hitting and as accurate as humanly possible, okay? Because I want to make this thing good. Now, next up we're going to use is the 0 .308 conversion magazine. Now, this might be where I lose some people here. Now, the reason why I'm going to be losing some people here is because some people might like the headhunter sniper like this, you know, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, you might also like the 6.5 conversion. And some of you might argue in the comments, well, wild, you should use a 6.5. It gives you more damage range. It's going to do this and that and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. And you want to know why it doesn't matter? Because the 308 has 10 rounds in the magazine and that for me, a clipper, a feeder, some guy who likes to make montages, that is what we need. We need more bullets in our magazine so we can continue to feed. That's what we like. So this is going to give you more damage, more uh, magazine capacity, and more piercing. Five piercing on this thing with this conversion. Holy, oh my gosh. It's also going to come at a cost of some fire rate, cost of mobility, and cost of velocity. But in my opinion, those are all equal trade-offs for how amazing this conversion is on this. Next up, we have is the minimal stock. This is what I use for the ADS speed and more recenter speed. Very, very nice thing to use in my opinion. Also gonna come at a con of recoil speed. And and last but not least, we got sleight of hand, all right? And that right there is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That is the whole setup. So now that I got that whole setup thing out of the way, this right here is the sniper in all its glory with this beautiful pink camo. Absolutely in love with this camo. This camo's fire. Let's go ahead and just see if we can snipe you. Yes, sir. We got the 500 kills right there, too. That was kind of nice. Oh, go for the no scope. Didn't hit, though. No matter. We don't need to hit. We got people running around with red dots on their ASR 50s. That's kind of cringe. Can't do nothing about that, though. We're going to have to just compete with them. Snipe that guy back there. Snipe you 
Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Got you. Oh, we got the hit marker. There we go. We got him right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, he sniped you with the freaking two time scope on his DSR. I've been seeing a lot more snipers lately. And heck, maybe they're not using a scope. And, you know, that makes me very sad to say. But, like, at least, at the very least, they are using a sniper. And that makes me happy. It really does. Warms my heart a little bit, if you will. You know what I'm saying, bro? We got that long shot right there, too. Very clean. Over 100 meter snipe. I'll take it. Quick scope. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. No heal. Okay, we're good. Around here. Oh, good job, teammate. Let's go. Sniped. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Yes, sir. See you up there. Sniped. Yes, sir. Yo, we're kind of kind of cruising along right now. Now, some people might argue that they don't like the fact that they have to, like, get the consistent, like, one-shot headshots from a range. They'd rather use, say, like, a DSR or maybe even the op. I feel like the op has more range than this thing overall. But to be honest with you, man, there's not another gun that feels like this. Like, the sniping on this thing, it feels, like, competitive. I don't know how else to say it other than that. Like, it just feels so nice to use. Like, it's clean. Now, like I said, some people might not like it, and I completely understand that. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Okay, and I just got katana to the back. That's not very nice. Got him, let's go. Got my revenge on the katana guy. So you can no-scope that guy. There we go. Headshot him. Let's go. Oh, I'm cruising right now. Holy, yes, sir. That's what I like to see around here. Good job, teammate. Picking up the kill. I didn't think you would be able to do it. Oh, man, I'm getting shot at. Oh, knife. Let's get it. Let's heal. I just saw some dude over here. Or I heard him, at least. He went somewhere. I don't know where he is. Kind of confused right now. Snipe. Got you. Yes, sir. Sniped. Yes, sir. Turn around. Oh, my gosh. There's no way. He didn't respect the sniper 1v1. What an L. You got to respect the sniper 1v1s, guys. Come on now. What is that about? But yeah, I'm really having fun with this sniper. I think the sniper's great. I really do like it. Sniped. Okay. I, actually, I hit him, but I didn't kill him. And that's where the velocity comes in, bro. The bullet drop on this thing is crazy. Got you. Yes, sir. Okay, there's another guy in their spawn back there. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him, though. Got you. Yes, sir. Okay, I see you. Got you. Okay. Where's the rest of your teammates at, bro? You gotta be somewhere around here, right? Got you. Got you. Oh my gosh, no! Snipe from across the map, bro. No way. Oh, I'm having so much fun, man. I really... Honestly, guys, I'm gonna just keep it real with you, all right? And honestly, I hope the bad business devs are listening to me. I really hope they, they're listening to this part of the video is what I mean to say. Not listening to me about random stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, just listening to me right now. I genuinely was not having fun playing just not only this game, but just Roblox in general lately. Like, and I haven't really been playing any of the games on the platform for like a really, really long time now. Like, I've been kind of just doing my own thing, you know, kind of just playing games that I feel like are just gonna, people wanna see and stuff like that but i am genuinely having so much fun with this sniper that like i've been playing bad business again without needing to record and that feels great i i love being able to play this game because genuinely speaking this game is probably not i wouldn't say my favorite of all time but it's definitely up there for one of my favorite games that i've ever played to be honest with you and, and i mean that and it's not like I, I don't see this as a roblox game i see bad business as its own thing you know what i mean like if they wanted to they could have released this game on steam and if i would have found it i probably still would have felt the same way well i don't really know actually now that i think about it because it might have just been one of those games that i played like on a one-off or something but if i had the same amount of features and stuff like that bad business has in the community and stuff like that 100 percent this would have been still my favorite game it doesn't really matter where this game is and i don't really see it as a roblox game just because this game to me is just so much more it has it's it shouldn't be on roblox to be honest it has that much like potential and i think it has that much respect in my eyes you know what i mean like it's just it's so good it does everything that the triple a studios should do but they just don't like look at cod for an example right they take guns and they just add these guns like every once in a season or something like i think they add like two guns every season and a season doesn't end until like three months or something we get new guns and new updates every two weeks on this game and there was a time period where we got it every week on this game like hello like that right there that should show you how much that these devs really really care about this game and i honestly it's so commendable like i really have so much fun on it now i used to get really mad playing this game on my spare time and that's why i kind of stopped playing it but with this new sniper i'm not really getting upset at all i've actually just been kind of just having fun again which feels really nice to say so i already know i said this in my last video talking about the update and stuff but w Rudev, let's go. W update. Loving it, bro. Another thing I also mentioned is I think I said Petrify is the one that did the model last video. That's not the case. 
Uh, Prime Fire is the one that did the model on this thing. Uh, someone was making sure to correct me in the comments, which I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for letting me know, because I would have never guessed it. But Petrify did the attachments for it, so yeah. He did the attachments, and Prime Fire did the model, and I'm honestly really happy with the results of this goddamn gun. Oh my gosh, this guy is really destroying me right now. Definitely the cleanest looking sniper in the game, in my opinion, at least currently. Really curious to see what is going to happen in terms of the other snipers in the game now, because I was able to talk to Ethan about this, and I might try and see if I can actually include this into the game, into the video or not but uh, i was talking to ethan about this and i was mentioning how the gun just doesn't really feel that great like me and xylik were both just kind of talking about it in the feature content creator chat and we're just talking about how the sniper doesn't feel great because if you guys can see this view model right here it doesn't look necessarily bad it just doesn't feel good when you go to ads you, feel, you see that right there? Like, that right there, That's that feels a little weird, in my opinion. So, Ethan took it upon himself to kind of, like, you know, experiment a little bit, and he's messing with the view model and stuff like that, and that's what I like to see, like, just taking the gun and already making it that much better than what it was. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy, man. I really am. Communication has been always, has always been good, to be honest. It always has been good, but I feel like it's at a better stage now than it ever was before even though before it was a lot more than what a lot of other devs have been doing you know what i mean so really happy with the state of the game entirely but yeah guys let me know what you guys think about this best setup all right i really am curious to see what you guys think about it i very much so love it like i really really do i think they absolutely nailed it when it comes to the uh to everything every aspect about this sniper is just so nice it feels super clean to use like not a single bad thing i can say about it honestly like they even have every type of conversion you could possibly want on it and i guess the update i'm looking more forward to now more than anything is the attachments revamp updates and i mean more so for like models and stuff like that because to be honest with you the duplex scope is like i want to use the duplex scope on this thing i really do i'm very curious to see what this thing plays like with this scope and you know what i'm gonna try it right now why not try it out i'll get rid of this and we'll try it like oh my goodness this ads speed is atrocious but we'll try it out anyway see if we could do anything with it let's go yep that's one that's two right there that's three. Oh, wait a minute guys wait a minute oh done oh yes sir yo what duplex scope kind of going crazy wait hold on don't don't stop shooting thank you i appreciate you Thanks for coming along. Oh, got you. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, duplex is really, really nice to use. Don't get me wrong. Default scope is probably the best thing to use with this gun, to be honest. But there is just something about it, bro. Like, I feel like if I did this right here, then threw on duplex, I think low-key, this could be, like, really, really nice to use. Hold on, let me see. Like, I, I honestly feel like this might be the setup. At least for me right now. I made that other setup more for other people because I know some people like the scope and stuff. But if you don't like the other scope and you want to use a actual like full-blown sniper scope like I'm using right now because you're not a big fan of the other one, I guess use this setup instead. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at this, bro. Holy crap, man. I'm literally destroying everyone right now. Look at this. Oh, man, I almost got that. Oh, my good bro. Hey, oh, my. Come on. Stop. Don't move. Just stay still for me. Holy crap. I love it. I really do. <laughs> I'm snapping with it. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is what I'm using. I'm using the duplex scope, guys. I'm sorry. I changed my mind. This is now the best setup, okay? No, but this is the best setup for me. Obviously, the other one is going to be, I think, more the best route to take. And in every single one of my best setup videos, you can go any other way. I mean, you could see, like, even though I call the other one the best setup, and I personally do believe that it's probably the best overall or all around setup that you can use on the gun, I still think that you can find a setup that better suits your play style. And this for me, like this right here, this feels the best to me. What I really wish is that we get a scope that actually looks good with all snipers. Cause this right here, this does not look good at all. I feel like this part should just get extended out this way. That will look so much better, but you know, whatever. I'm happy with it though. I'm really happy with the setup. Like I said, if you guys are curious on this setup one last time, this is the setup I was just using, but the one that I am calling the best out of all of them, I would say is definitely this one right here. And yet again, I also want to mention before you guys head out of the video, I did upload another video today. If you guys want to go check that out on my 
other channel, go ahead and please do so. I would greatly appreciate that. Link will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And yeah, like I said, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer each and every single day. I appreciate you all so much for watching. And thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll talk to all you beautiful, beautiful people on the next one. It's been wild. Peace.